In this video, we're learning about HIV. So we'll cover the structure of HIV, how HIV replicates, and finally, how HIV causes AIDS. Starting with the structure of HIV, HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. And it's a virus that weakens the immune system by specifically targeting and infecting our T helper cells. Structurally, HIV includes several key components. Firstly, this genetic material is made of two single strands of RNA that carry the virus's genetic instructions. HIV also contains an enzyme called reverse transcriptase. This is important because it allows the virus to convert its RNA into DNA once it's inside a host cell, which is really important when it comes to viral replication. The genetic material and enzymes are all surrounded by a capsid, which is a protein shell that protects the RNA and enzymes as HIV travels from cell to cell. On the outside of the virus, there's a phospholipid envelope, which is similar to the membranes that surround our own cells, and it's got glycoproteins embedded in it. These glycoproteins are also called attachment proteins, and they're basically proteins with sugar chains attached that will help the virus to bind to and enter host cells. Next, let's take a look at how HIV replicates. HIV is a virus, and like all viruses, it can't replicate on its own. Instead, it needs a host cell to replicate, and in the case of HIV, it uses T helper cells as its host cells. First, once an HIV virus particle has made it into the body, the glycoproteins on HIV attach to receptors on a T helper cell. After it's attached, the virus injects its viral RNA into the cell, so this viral RNA leaves the virus and enters the host cell's cytoplasm. Next, inside the T helper cell, the reverse transcriptase enzyme converts the viral RNA into viral DNA. So the single-stranded viral RNA here will be changed by reverse transcriptase into the double-stranded viral DNA here. This new viral DNA is then inserted into the host cell's genome, so it effectively hides within the cell's own DNA. As the T helper cell goes about its normal functions, its DNA is transcribed and translated to produce proteins. But this host cell now also produces viral proteins because the viral DNA is within its own genome and this is used as code for making proteins. These viral proteins that are produced are then assembled into new HIV particles inside the cell. Lastly, these new HIV particles bud off from the host cell membrane, ready to infect other cells. This replication process damages and eventually destroys the T helper cells, weakening the immune system over time. Finally, let's cover how HIV causes AIDS which stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. There are actually four key stages of HIV infection that you need to know about. The first is transmission, which occurs when HIV is spread through the exchange of bodily fluids, such as blood or sexual fluids. The second stage is acute infection, which happens about two to four weeks after transmission. And this is where the virus replicates rapidly and causes flu-like symptoms as the immune system responds to it. After that is the latency period. This is where HIV activity decreases, although the virus is still active at low levels. And this period can last for several years with few or no symptoms. The fourth and final stage is AIDS development. This happens when HIV reactivates and destroys a huge number of T helper cells, leading to immune system failure as AIDS develops. Because AIDS compromises the immune system so severely, this makes individuals highly vulnerable to opportunistic infections. So if they were to catch something like pneumonia, it's likely to kill them. Individuals with AIDS are also more vulnerable to certain types of cancer as well. Regarding treatment, while unfortunately there's currently no cure for HIV or AIDS, antiretroviral therapy, or ART, can manage the condition by reducing viral replication. It's usually targeted at the latency period and prolongs it for several years. This helps to maintain the immune system and prevent the progression to AIDS, 
improving the quality of life for people living with HIV. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.